Hey, it's Paul here on the Friendly Viewer. On this channel, we keep you up to date with the latest on the Netgear Orbi, so if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. In today's video, we're gonna be talking a lot about the Orbi app and also version 2.1.4.10, so let's check it out. Before we begin, I wanna thank all the viewers out there that contact me the moment a new firmware drops because I can test it out right away and post these videos even quicker. So again, thank you as I put in the comments or I write back to you, but I really appreciate it. Now on to version 2.1.4.10. So last time I talked about 2.1.3.4, so this is actually moving forward, which is a very good thing. 2.1.4.10 comes with some app information here. If you use your app a lot, you may notice occasionally it'll say the router's not set up and try to take you through that process. Well, that bug is now fixed in this version. The other thing I wanted to note here is that if you're gonna update your firmware, if you're using the app now, that is so much more easy than it used to be. There's gonna be a little, and I'll put it right up here, a little orange button that shows up that lets you know that you can do an update. You hit that button, you wait a while and wait and wait and wait and eventually it will update the firmware in all your satellites as well as your router and I double checked that as well and it worked just great for me. So I'll be posting a new firmware update video and not have to go through that website process that you previously went through. Let me know in the comments below if the button works for you as well and if you have a different configuration with many more satellites or even the outdoor satellites and if everything goes off without a hitch. The other little caveat here about this release is a known issue. If you have two or more wired ethernet satellites, you may have to shut off your router and turn it back on after the firmware update to get everything to connect properly. So if you notice some satellites that are not connected after your firmware update, make sure to just turn everything off, turn it back on and let it reconnect and then you should be good to go. This has been Paul with firmware version 2.1.4.10. Thank you for watching.